Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report, UAS for STEM Collegiate Drone Challenge, Boulder City wants big drone bucks, and Fat Shark 101 First Impressions. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. AMA has brought its UAS for STEM Drone Challenge to the college level. With support from DJI and PIX4D, the Collegiate Drone Challenge will host a student competition to create an accurate 3D model of the AMA's headquarters, a skill needed for success in the drone industry. The UAS for STEM Collegiate Challenge is designed for university students to learn, practice, and demonstrate professional unmanned aircraft system knowledge, mission planning, flight skills, data collection, analysis, and safety practices in a competitive environment. Teams will utilize PIX4D mapping software and produce professional orthomosaic images. After successful completion of the challenge, students will have gained critical knowledge needed to deploy drones within a high-demand job industry. All participating teams are required to complete an online curriculum to ensure that all students have learned about multi-rotor safety and operation in the national airspace system. The online ground school will also provide students with the knowledge needed to pass the FAA's Part 107 exam. Participants will also have access to a 10% educational discount on DJI products. The national competition will be held April 21, 2018 at the AMA headquarters in Muncie, Indiana. Program registration fees include temporary PIX4D licenses for each student, the online curriculum, UMASC membership for teams, and competition entry fees. In the next strong minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. AMA has partnered with AirMap's airspace management platform for unmanned aircraft. With the AirMap, the AMA has the ability to increase existing education efforts and provide small UAS pilots with the knowledge that they need to operate within the rules and regulations of the national airspace. With the AirMap web, iOS, and Android apps, AMA pilots can locate an AMA flying field, view airspace rules tailored to their mission, and plan and manage present and future flights. AMA pilots with a Part 107 license can also use AirMap's mobile apps to request digital low-altitude authorization and notification capability authorization as available. AMA Expo East is coming up fast and we'll have more details on it next week. But we wanted to let you know that the AMA Model Aviation Experience trailer will stay in New Jersey after Expo East. It will be at the Super Science Saturday event in Wedgeway, New Jersey on March 3rd. The NC Department of Transportation wants to bring various agencies together to share how emerging drone technologies can be included in their operations. More than 150 police officers, firefighters, and other emergency responders was on hand last week as NC DOT's Division of Aviation UAS Program Office hosted a free workshop for public safety agencies that have already or would like to soon incorporate drones into their operations. With a preponderance of anti-drone stories coming our way of late, it's nice to see that drone racing got a major write-up in The New Yorker, entitled The Trippy High-Speed World of Drone Racing. Author Ian Fraser notes that there is no slacker component to the new generation of talented young pilots who like to fool around with quadcopters. It's an interesting read. Be sure to check it out, the February 5, 2018 edition. That was our Drone Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. This one has us scratching our heads. Recreational drone operators who wish to fly their aircraft within the Boulder City, Nevada city limits would be subject to a $25 per day fee, according to the city's proposed fee schedule. 
The fees are part of an overall Boulder City Municipal Airport fee schedule. Commercial uses defined as flights intended to making a profit while utilizing a UAS would be charged $100 per day for each aircraft, or a blanket annual charge for Boulder City residents of $1,500 per year per aircraft. Such commercial activity includes but is not limited to surveys, real estate photography, commercial photography, etc. The permit rate will be based upon the number of UAS or the size of the company, whichever is larger. For example, if a company has 6 UAS and 11 persons, a Class C permit would be required to operate. But a $25 per day fee is also charged to any private user of UAS engaged in recreational UAS operation defined as operation for personal enjoyment and for no other purpose under the proposal. The most recent government meeting has tabled the matter for a few weeks and we will report ASAP on what occurs with this onerous proposal. One of the worst we've seen so far. Well, it's here. The Fat Shark 101 drone training system just arrived and we barely had the chance to unbox the critter and start looking through the manuals and documentation. However, we have had the chance to peruse some of the training materials on their websites and their written docs, and we like what we see. We're going to assign ANN's resident FPV race wizard KC Seelock to the initial review. But for grins and giggles, once KC has done the official evaluation, we're going to let ANN boss Jim Campbell teach himself to be a big time competition drone racer, which should be a thrilling process to watch from a distance. So far, we like the self training videos, which are really basic and should be. The Fat Shark 101 drone itself is a bit beefier than we expected, and the whole package provides what looks to be a solid value for less than $250. The documentation, both printed and available online, is easy to follow, and for those looking to cut their teeth on basic FPV drone racing, this looks pretty good so far. KC gets his hands on it this week, and sooner or later Jim will too. We look forward to seeing if the Fat Shark holds up under this kind of abuse. We'll keep you posted. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. With additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.